Hey guys, my name is Ismail. Welcome for another Blender 2.8 tutorial. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, something that you might have experienced if you're using a Blender 2.8 EV renderer, and that is light going through walls or going through objects when it shouldn't. Uh, so let's first replicate the problem and uh, see uh, a solution uh, to that. So let's just use this cube and uh, add a plane like this. Go to rendered mode. Already you can see that uh, some of the light is going through. Here you can see a gradient of light uh, just fading through uh, the object. And uh, that is not because the object is not seated on the plane. Uh, if we seat it directly or make it go through the object, you still see uh, that light going through like that. Uh, so what we need to do, uh, maybe to make this pronounced so that you can really see the, what I'm talking about is if you bring this light closer, you can see that gradient, that light uh, going through that uh, becomes even more. Now, when you bring this even closer, you can see that it has also, it also, it has also got uh, come through uh, this side here. Uh, so to fix this, you can go to the light settings, uh, make sure you have the lamp selected, and then go to under shadow, check contact shadows, and you can see that will eliminate uh, some of the problem, but uh, it won't uh, remove the entire problem. If the light is uh, a good distance away, uh, it will remove or reduce that problem. You can see if we turn it on, turn it off, you can see it will easily fix it. And uh, if if you still see uh, that streak uh, going through like that, you can just increase the, uh, play around with these settings. You can see you can easily uh, remove that. Uh, but uh, if the closer the light is to the object, uh, the, the more complicated uh, the problem becomes. Uh, so you can see under at different angles, uh, light will go through differently. So you can see here, it kind of disappears. And when we change to this side, it disappears. Let's see if we switch to camera view, you can see it's still, uh, the light streak is still going through like that. So you can again come, and come here and play with the settings a bit bias, uh, thickness, uh, but uh, whenever you pull these settings too much, you will start introducing artifacts like you see there. So make sure you just don't push them too high. You adjust one and adjust uh, the other. Uh, sometimes it's really hard to get rid of the light completely, uh, mostly if uh, the light is very close to the object. Uh, I found that uh, sometimes if you just reduce uh, this distance here, light distance, uh, if you want uh, the light to be close to the object, but uh, you don't want it to go through the object as well, you can just use the custom distance to reduce uh, the spread of that light like that. Uh, because if you have the light too close to the object and you don't have this set, uh, it becomes harder, even using these values, to remove that completely. Maybe what you can try is turning on soft shadows. So if you go in the settings, uh, scene settings, under uh, shadows, you can turn on uh, soft shadows and see how that works. But again, I just make sure to avoid uh, putting the light too close to the object. If you really need uh, the light to be close to the object, uh, you can use uh, this distance, custom distance, to reduce on the light going through that object as well. So, yeah, thank you for watching.